What's up? I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Acer Aspire V5 laptop. Thanks to the popularity of ultrabooks and tablets, there are plenty of machines on the market trying to take the best features from each device to help them stand out from their competition. The Acer Aspire V5 actually stands out not only from its competition, but from the other systems in its product line. It's a mid-range laptop that's both thin and light, although it's not exactly an ultrabook, that also merges the full functionality of a touchscreen tablet. What do we think about this new machine? Here's our review. The Acer Aspire V5 that we reviewed was powered by a dual-core Intel Core i5 3317U processor running at 1.7 GHz that could be boosted up to 2.6 GHz via turbo. It came with 6 GB of RAM and was supplemented by Intel Integrated HD Graphics 4000. The system also came with a 750 GB hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM, and content was displayed on a 15.6 inch LED backlit 10 point capacitive touchscreen with a native resolution of 1366 by 768. It also packed a DVD burner, three USB ports, one of which was USB 3.0, a 2 in 1 card reader, and HDMI and VGA output. Now coming in at just under an inch thick and weighing 5 pounds, the system doesn't wind up qualifying as an ultrabook, but its slim profile is a nice balance between its size and its performance as a fully functional laptop. The silver matte finish on the plastic shell could pass for polished metal at a quick glance, while the sides and the bottom of the laptop are a textured black plastic. Combined with the curved beveled edges and the rounded battery, the system is sleek and pleasant to look at, and with the exception of the glass touchscreen, it's resistant to fingerprints. Apart from those basics, the keyboard and the trackpad are well designed. The trackpad is much larger than many other systems on the market, with the left and the right mouse buttons integrated smoothly into the pad itself, with perfect sensitivity to support Windows 8 gestures. The white LED backlit chiclet keyboard has a full number pad, lots of function key shortcuts, and, in case you don't feel like using traditional methods of interacting with your computer, you can also use the 10-point touchscreen to control the system. We were also pleased with the graphics of the V5, which worked very well when it came to watching movies or handling images. The HD Graphics 4000 managed to provide enough of a visual experience that casual gamers won't be disappointed with some of the games they can enjoy on the machine. Hardcore gamers won't be able to play recent titles like Borderlands 2 or Assassin's Creed 3 without dropping settings significantly, but older games like Borderlands or Bioshock 2 can almost be maxed out. Like other systems from an OEM, the V5 came with pre-installed apps, but many of them were ones that lots of consumers use, like Netflix, Spotify, Kindle, Evernote, and Skype. Also helping is an Acer Explorer which walks users through the pre-installed software, which can help people decide what they want to keep and get rid of. Finally, we liked all of the I.O. ports, like the HDMI and VGA outputs to connect to almost any external monitor, along with the wired Ethernet port by Dongle for moments when Wi-Fi wasn't available, as well as the inclusion of a USB 3.0 port for fast file transfers. While all of these things were great, the Aspire V5 did have some downsides. First of all, the screen of the system is extremely glossy, which stands out during certain moments of use. If you're browsing the web, typing, or doing basic maintenance, it really won't stand out too much. But if you play a game or you watch a movie with low lighting, the screen will just reflect too much indoor light. You'll have to mess around with it quite a bit to alleviate the issue. Another problem that we found was related to the sound. The V5 could pump out a ton of volume to fill a large room, but the audio quality decreased significantly as the volume was turned up. We noticed a static hum in the background of audio being played that increased at the same time, and speech started to degrade as well. External devices didn't seem to seriously change the issue. Although we did find that turning off Dolby Advanced Audio on the system tray helped somewhat, that also reduced the volume output significantly. There were some other subtle design issues we ran into with the V5 that we felt were worth mentioning. For one thing, the peripheral ports are very tightly grouped. Virtually every single port is next to each other, making it very difficult to connect some devices or cables that are a bit bulkier than normal, or complicating the removal of some devices without accidentally disconnecting others. USB hubs are recommended to avoid the tight fit that many flash drives will suffer from. Another issue comes with the keyboard and the trackpad. The arrow keys are very small, while the caps lock and num lock buttons don't have any visual indicators when they're on, which can be confusing. We also noticed that the trackpad oddly stops working at times when the system is left idle, requiring a full shutdown to completely fix the problem. Now this wasn't a deal breaker, especially because the touchscreen was still a viable use for the computer, but it did complicate the system. 
The trackpad could also get confused if you had two fingers on it at the same time. For instance, if you were moving the mouse pointer and clicking a mouse button. When it comes to meeting most people's needs, the Acer Aspire V5 is a great system. It has a lot of excellent features like a large touchscreen, which is easily its biggest selling point, as well as good graphics and solid hardware to handle most day-to-day -day tasks. It has a handful of problems that will really stand out only to the hardcore gamer, video, or audiophile, but if you can overlook these issues, you'll have a strong system that's both eye-catching and relatively affordable. For these reasons, we decided to give the Acer Aspire V5 a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Acer Aspire V5, be sure to check out the bit.ly link below. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com videos.